Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University. We are looking at sight words today. Sight words. These are words that you recognize automatically as you read. Now, fluent readers, we have a lot of sight words stored in short-term memory. and We have access to them to greater or lesser degrees depending on our familiarity with them. Having a sufficient number of sight words increases our ability to create meaning with print because we don't have to individually process and parse each word. And I would posit that most of the words you encounter on this PowerPoint are sight words. You recognize it automatically, and that enhances your ability to create meaning. There's a lot of different types of sight words. They're relatively the same. There's the 100 most frequent word list, which represents 50% of all the words that students read. There's a Dolch list, a Fry list, a Zeno list. I'm sure there's many more lists that I'm not including. They're all relatively the same but they represent the words that students will encounter most, so it makes sense that we include these as part of instruction for beginning and emergent readers. And by the way, the words that emergent readers encounter, the majority of them should be in their oral vocabulary. So they're practicing using words and concepts within their uh, experience. That's why, by the way, language experience approach where students tell you something, you dictate, and they practice reading is so effective for struggling readers and readers at the emergent level. I know sight words and are, are, are important to include these, but be careful of creating a controlled vocabulary. This is where you use words to uh, reinforce something that you're teaching or sight words. This makes reading harder because what the sound of the language is not like students encounter. Jane said, Dick, Dick, can you see this? Dick, see Dick, see Dick run. All right, that is not like the language we encounter. That makes learning to read harder. Now, it's okay to do this once in a while. Here's an example of controlled vocabulary. Bob had a job. He had, had to eat corn on the cob. He did not like his job. It made him sob. He turned into a blob. He was a real slob. Not he, not her. But you see, this is artificial. It does not reinforce the type of language that students hear. Once in a while is okay, but if this is all that students encounter, it makes learning to read harder. Example of the Zeno sight words, 107 most common. Here's part of a Dolch list. All right. Now, instruction should be systematic. Now, systematic does not mean prescribed and a rigid way of teaching. It simply means you have a plan and you document mastery. Now, I recommend using a phonics checklist where you simply check off when you teach a reading subskill, including sight words and 38 most common phonograms, all right? This gives you a sense of what to teach and it documents when you have taught it and that you have taught it. Now, I recommend individually you keep a sheet like this for every student in a three ring binder, listen to three students a day, and as you observe them mastering one of these reading subskills, you simply date that. All right, that's a very direct and valid assessment of students' uh, uh, ability or mastery of these reading subskills. Some strategies, of course, flashcards, word sorts, give them five to 15 words. They have to put them in groups according to letter patterns. This is a great game. They count the number of sight words, circle it, and make a graph. Include sight words in weekly spelling tests. Use writing prompts for one or more, using one or more of the Xeno words wide reading, and create word walls. Cookie sheet activities. Do a Google search on that. A lot of neat activities to reinforce sight words. Treasure hunt, given a text that they have already read. Look at the sight words there. Students go back and they create a tally mark uh, every time they see one of these sight words. Just another way to reinforce sight words and graphing at the same time. Words with a distractor, give them three words, you say one of the sight words, they have to find it. Keep it fun, keep it light, sentence dictation and facilitated writing as well. We don't teach this, we create the conditions whereby students can develop their ability to create meaning with print.